Hello and welcome to another TA Tech Tip. In this tech tip, we will use the linear film tension clamp to demonstrate the dynamic mechanical analysis or DMA capabilities of the Ares G2. Using the force rebalance transducer, the Ares G2 is a rotational rheometer capable of performing linear dynamic mechanical analysis or DMA. The linear film tension clamp can be used to study viscoelastic properties of a solid film and fiber specimen in tension. Typical tests with this configuration include amplitude sweeps to determine the linear viscoelastic region, time sweeps to determine stability, frequency sweeps to determine viscoelastic properties, and temperature ramp or sweeps to determine thermal transitions, measure modulus, and collect TTS data for master curve generation. When mounted on the Aries G2, the linear film tension clamp is used in tandem with the forced convection oven, or FCO, for temperature control. The kit includes the upper and lower fixtures and a torque wrench. You will need to acquire a steel shim for alignment calibrations. After mounting the fixtures to the Aries G2, select the linear tension geometry from the geometry drop-down menu in the TRIOS ribbon. Proceed to the geometry calibration window and calibrate the geometry mass. Once completed, insert the alignment steel shim to the upper geometry fixture. Manually rotate the motor to align the upper and lower fixtures. Using the up and down buttons on the keypad, carefully lower the upper geometry until the steel shim is fully inserted into the anvil. Carefully tighten the screws. Use the TRIO software to read the alignment position through the geometry calibration window. Once finished, remove the alignment steel shim and then zero the gap. You can now use the Move to Alignment Position button in the motor control panel at any time to return the geometry to the alignment position. This guarantees the geometries are always aligned with one another during testing. Measure and enter the sample width and thickness into the appropriate fields under the geometry file. The sample length value is always measured during the test using the gap signal. Simply raise the instrument head and load the sample into the test geometries. The linear tension clamp is now ready for testing. Typical test procedures include axial force control and tension to prevent the sample from buckling during testing, followed by an oscillation step. This oscillation step can include an amplitude sweep to determine a linear viscoelastic region, a frequency sweep for viscoelastic characterization, a time sweep to determine stability, or a temperature ramp or sweep to measure thermal transitions, and modulus as a function of temperature. In this TA Tech Tip, we've demonstrated the setup and use of the linear film tension clamp to perform dynamic mechanical analysis on the Ares G2. Please stay tuned for more helpful TA Tech Tips, and thank you for your interest.